Hey everybody, Rich here with another retro video. Last time I did Windows 2000, this time I'm going all the way back to Windows 95. Oh yes. Let me just prove that I am in fact running it. This is in a virtual session obviously because I don't believe I could screencast in Windows 95 on a native level even if I wanted to. But anyway, this is Windows 95. And I know, first question you're going to ask, why would anybody want to run this? Well, the answer is simple. Games. DOSGames.com. That's what I'm on right now. And uh, if I go to the RPG section, you'll see all the classics from Apogee, Epic Mega Games, uh, titles like Doom, Duke Nukem. There's a ton of games. And... Uh, Using Windows 95, you get DOS 7, and uh, it's e pretty much easy to configure. So if you want to run all those DOS games in the best possible environment, Windows 95 is good to use. You install it, and then you go back into DOS mode, and then you run your game, and you're good. But while you're in Windows, you probably want to get some regular apps in here so you can use it like a regular computer and uh, that's what I did here and I'm going to show you the stuff that I put in in order to make this actually usable somewhat <laughs> so you know you gotta take this with a grain of salt because this is a really old operating environment so anyway the browser that I'm using first of all is a K-million I think that's how it's pronounced and this is the latest version of it which is version 154 This uses the Firefox engine, um, yet it runs in Windows 95, which is fantastic. So it, uh, it's very lightweight. I have the classic theme on it, so it looks kind of Netscape-ish. You'll see the little Mozilla dragon for the, the uh, Thropper image over on the top right. Works pretty well. I purposely turned the JavaScript off so things load faster. Uh, it has multi-tab support. It uh, does good bookmarking. It has some plugins available for it, but I don't. I wouldn't recommend putting any pl plugins or add-ons into it. Runs good, so this can be your modern browser. You can use it to log into things like Hotmail, and Gmail, and Yahoo Mail. It will work because it is. Uh, it's a ver consider it an extremely lightweight version of Firefox. Now, I did install Firefox on here. The only version that it would support is uh, version 1.5, and that's just too old. Certain sites don't work with Firefox 1.5 anymore, but they will work with Kmillion, so it's a good one. And Kmillion is a free browser, besides which. Now, before I install Kmillion, I actually put in Internet Explorer 5.5. This is the highest IE that Windows 95 will support. As a matter of fact, when I try to load this, I think it actually tells me to go upgrade. Or maybe it'll try to load MSN. Anyway, uh, of course it looks terrible because this is an ancient browser. Um, and why did I install Internet Explorer 5.5? It puts in a bunch of updates in Windows 95 that allows you to install other applications. It's not that you'll ever use the browser, but you install it to actually get in all those updates. Uh, where to get it is at browsers.evolt.org and it's IE55 Service Pack 2. It's a huge download for a browser, 84 megabytes, but most of that is updates and that's what you need. Now for the other stuff, just basic things here, I put in a word processor. I used Abbey Word, uh, which is a freebie, and it says on their homepage that Windows 95 will run version 2.4.6 and that's the version I have installed. This will open um, Word documents, it will edit Word documents. It will also open uh, write files, RTFs, things of that nature. You know, you've got your font support. It's not bad. For a freebie it's pretty good actually. I don't see the point of putting OpenOffice on Windows 95 because that's just too much. I could if you wanted to. Or if you're lucky enough to have a copy of Microsoft Office 2000, that will work in Windows 95. And uh, so if you have that, definitely use that. But if you don't, 
Abby Word is a good um, substitute for that, just for doing basic documents and stuff like that. Miranda is what you can use for your instant messenger. I don't have any accounts in here, but if I was going to put some in, it will support AIM, uh, GG, ICQ, IRC, Jabber, MSN, and Yahoo. It may look ancient, but it will log them in and it will support it. The only thing I had to do to make it work is I had to download something called the uh, Rich Editor 3.0 which was at nakware.com, uh, N-A-K-W-A-R-E.com. If you just search for Rich Ed 3O, R-I-C-H-E-D 3O.exe, you'll come across this page in Google. You can download it, install it, and then Miranda will work. Miranda does require the uh, Rich Editor in order to actually function with chat windows and things like that. That's why you need it. Other than that, not much else I put in here. Uh, I got my word processor. I got my browser, which is Kmillion. Oh, some other notes about Kmillion. Actually, this doesn't have to do with the browser. It has to do with Flash. Uh, I think the last version of Flash that would work on this was Flash 7, possibly Flash 8. I'm not sure. Flash is up to version 10 or 10.1 at the time I record this, but if you try to load, say, YouTube on Windows 95, you're not going to get very far with it. Then again, you're using Windows 95 on an old computer to play games primarily, so it's not as if you're going to go and watch YouTube videos on it. What you basically want is a way to go and get a browser, use email, maybe type up a excuse me, type up a document or two and have basic instant messaging. And I was able to do that. So Windows 95 is still usable on the modern internet, just barely, but it still does work. And you can play all those cool old games on it too, besides which. So uh, there's my retro video on that. Oh, uh, I should mention this too. I put in a 7-zip for zip file management. That was uh, version 4.6.5. I mean, this launch that works great. So if you have to download a zip file or two, yep, it'll work. And I was also uh, one final note. I was able to share out a folder here using the networking, so I could transfer files from Windows Seven on another computer on my network into. I just called this folder stuff because I had to uh, push a few files that I downloaded on my Windows Seven machine into Windows ninety five. Now, I couldn't get Windows 95 to connect to Windows 7, but I could get Windows 7 to connect to Windows 95, and that's better than nothing. <laughs> so, yes, it is usable, and you can instant message, chat, browse the web, and still play all your cool games besides which. Take it easy.